So he decided to pee in this bottle on the plane and he told the flight attendant that he was gonna do it and she said, that's up to you. I'm Jamie O'Brien and this is Camera Roulette. Screen recording. Oh, start screen recording. Here we go. Three, two, and one. Boom, we're recording. So I'm gonna go scrolling through my photos. I have 4,000 something photos, so hopefully it doesn't land on iCloud because if it does, it won't load and iCloud sucks. Boom. Okay, here we go. So this is actually the latest season of Who is J.O.B.? It's an intro trailer to our Maui trip. Crazy times in Maui. We got good waves, had a good time with poops, and yeah, as you can see, crazy times, good adventures, and uh, many more to come. Oh my God, this is the kayak barrel. This is the best barrel I've ever got on a kayak. Check this out. It's the GoPro angle right here, about to pull in. My friend's never been surfing in his life and I got him barreled at Pipeline on a kayak. Pretty legendary. I was stoked. It made like, it made my whole June in Hawaii just like so much better. Filming for JLB vlogs. Good times. Swipe, boom. Boom, okay, so right here's another video. It's not a photo. These guys are actually fishing off the rocks in Hawaii, and it's not gonna load, but they, they're using an octopus, and they throw it out there and wait for a big fish to bite. Kind of a fun thing to do in Hawaii, because it's a lake in the summer. You ready? Oh, wow. So this is my friend Scummy, and we're on an airplane, and nobody, nobody, would let him stand up to pee. He got yelled at multiple times. So he decided to pee in this bottle on the plane and he told the flight attendant that he was gonna do it and she said, that's up to you because he said he was gonna pee his pants. So it was either the bottle or pee his pants or get arrested. So he chose the bottle right there, boom. All right, we're moving on, here we go. Waterfall. Okay, so this waterfall is actually from Tahiti. It's, I think it's on the southeast coast of Tahiti and it's really remote, really beautiful. And uh, yeah, we pulled up on the jet skis, we swam in and um, yeah, we just went cruising in the waterfalls, drinking the water, just kind of taking it all in and it's a beautiful place, Tahiti. We're actually filming for Who is JLB? So it's kind of like a little off day. Go check out some paradise in Tahiti waterfalls. I'm gonna be a little biased. I'm not gonna stroll, I just see something I like. Um, this right here is actually a picture of all of us that was watching. And to me, the definition of fun is on this board with seven of your friends is the time of your life. Take every wave, you only can catch like six or seven because after that you're so tired and you just got so pounded. Um, it's worth every moment, every second. People always grumble about the price of these boards. They're about $2,500 US, and if you split it between seven guys, that's not too bad. For that much fun, I mean, that's all of us charging right there, about to get barreled at sunset. Another um, very, very high point of my life right there. Boom, snowboarding. Okay, so right here, this is what I love to do besides surfing, is snowboarding. I'm not very good at it, but I enjoy it. And this is a picture of me going off a cornice in Japan. I probably could have had a lot more style, a lot more better things going on, but this picture right here felt like I was dropping in on like a 35 foot Hawaiian wave. Like this was, I was that scared. It's like a 10 foot face, maybe eight feet. <laughs> I love it. That's why I love it. Cause I'm a kook out there and um, yeah, sending with the boys and, and having a good time and enjoying the food and the culture is pretty priceless. The trip to Japan, a lot of things happened. <laughs> We went in this place. What was this place? This, this is a, a beer fridge. So we went to this place called the beer fridge, which right here you could see my buddy entering the beer fridge. And it was a fridge about three feet tall. And then you open it up and there's just like huge bar and there's like taps everywhere. It was like really cool. And it pretty much looked like it was in an igloo and um, I thought it was a cool concept. And we also went surfing in Japan, which was really, really radical. Um, I think I'll show you a picture. I mean, it wasn't like big waves, but it was like, it was super like novelty, I guess. Here we go, waves in Japan. So it's really beautiful as you can see, you know, just snow straight down. 
probably like 500 foot mountains straight into the ocean. Just absolutely beautiful, fun waves, freezing cold water. Actually something fun, funny happened. I convinced my buddy to um, jump in the water in Speedos and he did it. But the video won't play, so we can't watch that. The surf culture in North Japan is hardcore. It is legit, like gnarly. Like these guys are diehard surfers. It is snowing, it's freezing outside. The waves are beautiful, the water's freezing. It's just, it's just freezing. You gotta have a lot of character, a lot of wisdom. You gotta be a real stand-up person to get out there and, you know, have fun. Here, we'll go opposite, so something will load. Get it going fast, boom. Oh, so this is the drain in Hawaii. This is the sewer drain, it's not a sewer drain. It's actually a water runoff in Hawaii and um, I was scared for my life to do this actual drop right here. Um, probably the most scariest thing I've ever done in my life for sure. I had Poopies do it about eight years ago and he said it was the gnarliest thing he's ever done in his life. No, it's so gnarly, he just always talks about it. So then it came our time to do it and we actually went down and it was so scary and I got to the bottom and I had so much adrenaline going that right when I got to the bottom, I was like, I want to do it again. And I went straight back up there and Poops is just like, you guys want to do it again? You can see right there, um, that's my that's my buddy sliding down the hill. It's like really steep, really gnarly. Oh God. Okay, so right here is um, a really cool picture of my dog, Grom, sleeping with me. Me sleeping next to another man. And actually my the other dog's looking at the camera right there. You can see his eye right there. Um, my buddy wanted to do a 24 hour challenge for his YouTube channel on an island off of Waimea Bay for 24 hours. So we paddled out the step squash, we paddled out everything we had. And I was like, I'm gonna bring the dogs, you know, stoke out the dogs. And the dogs were running around for like 24 hours, just losing it on the rocks and um, just having the time of their lives. And the next morning we woke up, we're like, okay, it's time to you know, head home. And my dogs, as you can see in this photo, are just done for, okay. So this is the morning that we're leaving. And, we get home and my dog's can't even walk. Like I had to carry the dogs to the car and I felt all bad and guilty and you know, and they, they had their paws were like raw from running on the rocks all day. So I ended up hanging out downstairs, putting my dog's feet in the water because their feet were so sore and he didn't really like that either, but like kind of cool bonding moment with me and my dog, 24 hour challenge. Dogs are pretty powerful. I've never seen my dog so tired in their lives. Like they like, look at them. <laughs> Pretty cool. I love dogs. I got a cool story. So I like collecting surfboards. Um, it's because it's a part of who I am and, and why I do what I do and I love what I do. Um, it's, it's surfers like Tom Curran that I always looked up to that inspired me. And um, this particular board he rode on the search trip at this wave called Bawa. And I got a chance to buy this board and it's hanging up at my house. So this next photo is Tom Curran riding this same exact board, which is probably about as legit as it gets when it comes to collecting boards. Tom Curran on the famous, iconic Bawa right. I got the board, that's what matters. So the reason why I collect boards is for a picture like this and a moment like this, because when I was a young kid, you know, I was probably about 10 years old when he caught this wave, I was like, oh my God, I remember seeing this in the magazines. Like it was such a legendary photo. And then to have the, the um, chance to buy this board is an opportunity of a lifetime. Um, at least to me, it has sentimental value because these are the reasons why I surf. Screen recording. Oh, start screen recording. Here we go. Three, two, and one. Boom, we're recording. So I'm gonna go scrolling through my photos. I have 4,000 something photos.